Okay, first of all, um, you know, we knew it was going to be a close ball game. Um, came down to one possession there. There's certainly some things that we did better in the game, uh, but, you know, we weren't big enough to meet the moment. Uh, San Jose is, you know, a good football team. I think, you know, they're disappointed uh, coming from, a, you know, a Mountain West Conference championship last year. I talked to their head coach before the game, but their players played hard. I thought their quarterback made some spectacular running plays, and we knew he was going to be a weapon. Um, and uh, you know we're we're you know we're really disappointed, but I thought our guys' effort as far as staying in the fight and believing, uh, you know, our defense came up with a stop. Uh, we certainly didn't protect the passer very well, although defensive linemen typically know you're gonna you're gonna throw the ball a bunch there uh, at the end. But you know, back and forth during the course of a game, uh, we've got to get better. Um, there's some positive things out of this game, but uh, nonetheless, we came up with a loss. So questions. Ryan, go ahead and start us off. Craig, obviously uh, X got loose today. Mm-hmm. The running game got going. Levi had a couple touchdowns. Is this something you can build off, or is it just the disappointment of losing four in a mm-hmm. row is something you got to just get the guys motivated right. again and keep their heads up? Well, I really appreciate that. I address that in the locker room because, um, you know, the thing that we had, we had fight, and uh, we did make some progress. I mean, their defensive front's a good front. Um, you know they've got some good skill players, and you know we need to we we can't commiserate about the loss. Certainly we've got to we've got to uh, uh, improve, and like I said, talk about some things where we need to be big enough to meet the moments. Um, but the effort and the resolve uh, is there. We've got to coach them up better. Uh, got to encourage them a little bit more, uh, and then uh, put ourselves in better position. I think sometimes we'll look at the. The tape and we'll gnash our teeth because of some lack of, of execution here or there. But by and large, I thought our guys uh, played hard. Um, they were a good team. I knew they were going to be difficult to beat here. Um, and we're going to encourage them. we got a big game this next week. And I think we all know how big a game that is. And so um, we'll uh, hop on this plane, get back home, lick our wounds, and get ready to play uh, Colorado State. Craig, what did you think of Levi's performance today and is he your quarterback going forward? Mm-hmm. You know, I always look at the tape, uh, Cody. Uh, there's some things I thought that Levi did well to the to maybe not the, the naked eye. There were some uh, things within the running game that he put us in and out of some really good plays, some really good decisions. Uh, I thought he, he ran the ball uh, hard. He made it, you know, obviously threw the deep ball uh, really well. I think uh, certainly the short passing game needs to improve. I don't know what our numbers were. I know we had 400 yards offense, but, you know, I think some of the intermediate passing game has got to improve and we'll work on that. And so, um, you know, we we made a predetermined decision to to play him. I I wanted him to have the confidence that, you know, um, he wasn't going to, you know, get replaced. Uh, But, you know, the interceptions uh, are are drive, not only drive killers, but it's it's very difficult to beat teams on the road by doing that. um, he's got to learn from that, and I'm sure he will. Josh, go ahead. The uh, offense got started off slow, then really got going there in the second half. It seemed like. What was your guys' biggest uh, adjustment on the offensive side at halftime? Mm-hmm. Well, we made a couple things uh, on in this side running game. Uh, you know, we really got that going, and I know um, you know maybe some teams would have gotten away from the run, but that was really was going to be our our you know, our big advantage, and it was proving to be very successful. I thought their defensive linemen's pads got high. Uh, we were starting to uh, knock people off the line of scrimmage, and the backs were finding some holes. Uh, we made a couple s- slight adjustments, but more more than anything else, just staying diligent and staying with the running game uh, was going to give us our best chance to win. Cody, go ahead. Frank, it seems like you guys really got it going a little bit when you went up tempo. Is that an answer for mm-hmm. this song? Well, I purposely avoided that question. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be frank with you. I want to look at the look at the tape before we we go. I think uh, so. I'll I'll stand on that. I can understand why you asked that. Understand why I uh, gave you the answer I did. Um, you know, the, uh, the as far as the up tempo, um, what what did occur there was uh, we were able to begin to dent them in the running game, and when we were able to 
um, not substitute and go right back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, we had softened that front up. They couldn't substitute, and that's what really gave us some ability. We, I think there's times that it, that it can be good, but what really made it successful was I thought that um, you know, our pad level was lower than their pad level, and that allowed us to get some gains. And so I'm cautious to say, okay, we're going to be a, you know, upbeat, fast tempo team, you know, if you're not being able to to do something successful. And so it was good. It worked. I think it it did give us a shot uh, to to win, uh, and and it was not enough. All right, it says I have low bandwidth, so I'll give it a shot, Craig. Um, the defense gave you guys a chance with some stops there, but gave up the long touchdown, obviously, on third long and didn't get a turnover. Just your assessment of their play. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought uh, there, were, there were times during this game, Ryan, that we played pretty well because I think San Jose's got some skilled players, but uh, we were off. Um, you know, the, there were some missed assignments, certainly some tackling uh, was not where it needed to be. I think there were some schematics that we had to make some adjustments on, uh, but not near as consistent as what we had played on defense. And so I'll look at the tape, but from my vantage point on the sideline, and then just uh, the output uh, had not been where it had been. I think we need to credit San Jose some, uh, but we certainly can play better on defense. seemed like the wind was really blowing there coming mm -hmm. from the north end of the stadium. Is that something that you guys had to factor in uh, mm -hmm. throughout that third quarter? Yeah, I did not think, you know, maybe it was because I was down on the, the sideline, but I really didn't think uh, the wind was really much of a factor. Quite frankly, at the beginning part of the game, I was more concerned about the sun. I know a lot of people will ask, well, why do you always defer? Well, on, with the sun, you don't want to be trying to catch a punt in the sun. And so this is some of our logic there. But... You know, Josh, it, maybe we're so used to wind in Wyoming, I think if the wind would ever stop in Wyoming, everybody would fall down. I mean, I think we're used to wind, and so it wasn't really a factor. Cody, go ahead. Craig, I don't know if morale is the right word or not, but mm -hmm. what is it like in the locker room right now? The guys still up? Oh, I, to say they're up, Cody, I think would be a, a real m misjudgment. I mean, they're really disappointed. They're hurting. Um, and that's, that's not only young people, but that's coaches as well. Um, if, if this game doesn't disappoint you, uh, then you're really not much of a competitor. However, uh, my sense, if you're, if you're saying, okay, is this football team going to get so down that they're not going to come out and fight? Like, I thought we played hard today. We can play smarter. Uh, and I'm confident that we'll do that. But once again, that's all part of our leadership group. Uh, it's all part of my role as a head football coach that, you know, we take 24 hours, we methodically go through this tape and then get ourselves ready to play uh, the Rams.